A father and a son are spending their Father's Day together, holding each other a little bit closer. That's because almost 10 years apart, the duo suffered traumatic brain injuries. Both successfully recovered and were treated here in Bakersfield. 23 ABC's Ruby Rivera tells us about their incredible recovery journey. Marilyn Frank spent nine months here at the Center for Neuroskills when he suffered a traumatic brain injury when he fell 20 feet from a rooftop fixing an air conditioning unit. His son Bryson Frank suffered the same injury nine years later and then spent three months at CNS. Merlin says when his son was injured, he knew this is where he needed to be. You know, once we got him in there, I knew we were going down the right path. Um, and, you know, to see where he's come full circle is just, uh, you know, we're blessed. Merlin says when he got the call that his son was hurt, he didn't know what he would see when he walked into the hospital room. Bryson was riding on his motorcycle on the freeway when he then fell off, got stuck under the wheel, and hit his head on a guardrail. He then spent three days in a coma and was then told about his injuries. I sustained a traumatic brain injury. Um, I fractured two vertebrae, and then I, I don't remember what it's called, but basically separated a bunch of vertebrae. I don't remember which ones. Uh, and then... I lacerated my lung. Merlin's injuries were quite similar. Aside from the brain injury, he fractured his skull, broke his back, lost his taste and smell, and also had to make some changes to his everyday life. At the time of the injury, I didn't wear glasses. Um, they found out that I'd done some uh, enough head damage that it injured my eyesight. Merlin also suffered with anger issues and Bryson temporarily lost his sense of recognition. They said it was the mental therapy provided by the Center for Neuroskills that got them back on track. President for CNS David Harrington was a part of Merlin's treatment team and says their treatment plan revolved around a community setting. Harrington says practicing daily tasks such as getting groceries or cooking dinner is ideal in these types of injuries. It's everything from fine motor coordination, gross motor coordination, the processing speed, all of these skills integrate to, to make sure that we are able to perform our activities of daily living, whether it's very basic such as cooking a meal or complex such as returning to work. While sharing this experience together, the duo also shares a common interest for motorcycles. Merlin saying he's most grateful to be out on the road again. Motorcycling has been part of my life since I was a kid, since I was four years old. So to lose that part of me would be really tough, I think. So that, that's been the biggest blessing out of all of it. Both Merlin and Bryson say this experience has brought them a lot closer. Although they've been told to stay away from motorcycles, they say they can't wait to go riding in the future. In Bakersfield, Rivera, 23 ABC News, connecting you.